and we are staying at the Kowloon side. We're about to eat breakfast, but it's not open yet, so I just wanted to do my intro here. But we're here, it's our second time, Hui's first time, here with my family. We're there. And yeah, we're just in Sun Sha Sui, I can't say it, uh, exploring. So we're gonna eat some breakfast and then explore this area. It was a good cha-cha tang experience, but the wait is really long, so I would suggest getting here probably by 10. What's 10 15. The line was really long. Beer can or But it's socks. interesting because like once you wear it, you're not gonna put it back in the container. Right? But for the yeah. moment, it's like Oh, well, guess Avenue of the Stars is closed behind me. But oh well. Got our octopus cards, which is the refillable MTR cards. We just spoke to the person and got it instead of trying to figure out how to do it in the kiosk. But it's 150 Hong Kong dollars. They pay for it and it's just preloaded. Our first MTR experience. What? Central. Made it to Central. It's so crowded. Alright, we are here at Yat Lok, which is Michelin guided recommended for their roast goose noodle soup. The 118 Hong Kong dollar one it has more dark meat, so if you like that, get that one. The goose was super fatty and good. And the rice noodles were interesting. They're like, is it a tapioca noodle? Kind of, yeah. It's more like a tapioca noodle. Not quite like a typical like super white rice noodle. It's more like a clear rice noodle, but yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's pretty expensive. Right. Yes, how much is it US? Yes, you have some gum, it's like $14. $14, but you get like four pieces of the goose, which is very similar Still. to duck. And duck is usually expensive, so. But yeah, it's definitely not like a super cheap meal. So we're here at Jenju Don for a boba. It's new in Hong Kong, but they don't have an English menu. So we were struggling trying to figure out what was popular. We basically had to talk to them and use Google Translate, which is not quite that good, but. We'll see what we ended up ordering. What's the verdict? Good. But it's like any other brown sugar milk tea thing, but it's good. Jen Jun Don. Jen. But the boba is softer better. here. Yeah. That looks better. The boba is softer here, but. The other, softer is bad. No, that's oh, just boba. Tell yeah. No, that one's better. No. The other one's all better. The other one's better. But I do like the, the milk. brown sugar, the milk, yeah. So the brown sugar better here, but the Slightly. boba. The tea is pretty good, though. No, the tea the other is better. Yeah. Yeah, the boba is too soft and not chewy. Yeah. The other place is better for sure. What brand is this? Where are we? Don't mind this random dude. 
so we tried to go to Victoria's Peak, but the line was like over an hour long just to get the tickets, and then you have to go up to the top. So we decided just to come to dinner first. We're at Cow Key for their beef brisket noodle soup. There's actually no line. We're the only ones in line. So we're gonna go and check it out. everyone we are here at the hotel because we get free breakfast a nice spread first I'm gonna get some eggs Almost Atlanta Island. We're gonna go take the cable car up there. Just got off the subway and we're gonna head up and see and climb the big stairs. Three hours later. Two, three hours? Really? I think so. I'm not surprised. I thought it was three hours. Oh, wait, Have no. We waited? No, two and a half. Yeah, two okay, half, fine. Two and a half. So two and a half hours later. So, so just thank you, Jeff. Thank you, We pay extra for this, so everybody look down. No, I'm not. Looks like we're wearing a straight hat. Put your hands up. <laughs> oh my god. Roll the coaster. Nice. Oh yeah, that's scary to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it has windy glasses. How are we doing? Good. Okay. Easy. Surviving? from my hotel room. We are heading to Macau today and we've had a few full days of just like going, 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 a lot of work so that's probably why I haven't talked much but we're gonna go check out Macau for our quick day trip. The madness that is the Macau ferry. He survived. It's different if we've been here before. I've never been here before. We didn't think we would make it to the ferry at 10:30, but we made it. And these guys were like hustling us to buy the tickets, and we're like so confused. Make sure you bring your passport. We're coming to Macau because you need it. But we're waiting for the ferry now, and we're gonna head over. It's about a 45-minute boat ride. <sighs> Well, we were at the wrong terminal gates. We we're supposed to be at 11, not 12, hence the running. And apparently, we are not in a turbo jet. What <laughs> fail? But we're here, hopefully, going to the right spot. Goodbye before I get car sick, seasick. We made it to a cow. We're alive. Yep, it was quite hard to find it though. Make sure you have things written down in Chinese or you have the Google Maps app. Traditional Portuguese food. Actually, I don't even know if it's traditional, but it was good. 
a lot of seafood. We had the paella, got the lamb chops. A few of us had steak. <sighs> Pretty good. You can make reservations online. We're not hiking up this hill to look for boba. So much stuff. We made it to Largo de Senado, which is this huge piazza type place. Definitely feels like Italy or Europe. Alright, finally got come by tea. Mmm. The boba's chewy. The boba's chewy. I got rose puree. Mm. Made it to, what's this place? Margaret's for their Portuguese egg tart. Apparently she is the ex-wife of Lord Stowe, which we will also be going to to try their egg tarts as well. But it's the pickup line that's long, not the Wait, line. Wait, It's really flaky, it's like a croissant. How is it different than a normal Don Tot? It's like a croissant. When I think of Don yeah, Tot, it's, yeah, it was like. And, and then, the stuff in the middle is very good. We made it to the ruins. <laughs> the line for Lord Stowe's. Okay. How does it compare? Less buttery, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Can't tell me. That's the husband. Yeah. <laughs> this is more firmer, like the, a lot more firmer. On to the gambling, on to the casino. Welcome to day four of our trip, I think. Um, apparently it was Thanksgiving yesterday, I totally forgot about that. But we are here at the Australia Dairy Company trying to get breakfast. The line is super long. Um, yeah, as you can tell. I'm gonna show you guys the front. to go in shop. Made it to Muiki Kanji, which is really hard to find. I think all these tables are for it. And you just like find someone to talk to and get a seat and then order. It's really confusing though because like everything's in Chinese. for some black currant candy and we think we found it. Not sure though, so let's try. Let you guys can see. It's not the same. But it's still good. Yeah. These are more like gummies, not um jellies. It's still the same flavor though. Alright, All right, we are on the hunt for the original boba from Taiwan, Chun Shui Tang. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Walked all the way to West Kowloon Station, which is super nice. Hopefully it's worth it. I'm about to try my lemon jasmine tea. Mm. Interesting hooks. Spring liquid. It actually reminds me of Happy Lemon. The boba is definitely small but it's chewy, so good. Now that I've tried all the boba places, I think my favorite is Jen Jundan, which was the first place we tried. Second was probably Come Bai Tea, which is the one we had in Macau yesterday, but they have it in Hong Kong as well. Third is here at Chan Shui Tang. Um, their tea is really good. 
and lastly probably would have been Tiger Sugar because I'm just sorry their boba was not good. So I think those are my top boba places here in Hong Kong that we tried at least during this trip. More capsule stores, more cube stores. Special Hong Kong Disney line subway or MTR line from Tong Chung Station, and we're here. It's pretty crowded compared to the last time we were here in 2013. I think more people come now. So it's basically just like Star Tours, except not as cool. And Jarvis speaks Cantonese, which you can't understand, so I don't really know exactly what was going on. But I guess it's a new type of ride. What do you guys think? I thought it was pretty fun. You can't understand what a word he said. I know, Jarvis speaks Cantonese. Why? Oh, they don't fully show you the picture. Oh. Man. Crystal Lotus for our Disney dim sum. Make sure you order the dim sum at least 48 hours in advance and you make reservations at least, I think, 60 days in advance. to Mystic Manor, which looks similar to Haunted Mansion. All right, we interrupt this Disney to show you the new snacks we got. The black currant snacks. Hey. They say you have to go to a supermarket to get them. Yeah. All right, let's try it. They're shaped as Hello Kitties. Which I don't know if you can see this. Mm. That's good. This is gummy. This one better? Any food you mean? It depends. If you want more of a chewy gummy, or more of like a gel-like. Ah, we're in the we're in the carriage. Oh, we're gonna wave to mom and dad and Hannah as we pass on by. We were pleasantly surprised. It was quite exciting. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it's like a mix between Haunted Mansion and maybe Transformers slash Indiana Jones, but not that intense. Yeah, pretty fun. So we found a pretty unique food item, which is the Mickey Pearls. If you go, in, if you go into the Toy Story Land and get to Jesse's Roundup cart or something, they have a pineapple slush with Mickey Pearls, and they're actually shaped like Mickey Mouse ears, which is pretty awesome. Grizzly, what, what is this ride called? The Mine Cars? Yeah. Definitely one of the best rides. So fun. Won't spoil it for you guys, but you're in for a treat if you go. We're here at Mott 
32 for Hannah's birthday. <laughs> Star Ferry. You can actually use your Octopus card. Don't pay attention to the Star Ferry tours if you just want to ride it across. Go to Zinza's Way Station and then you follow the map and just use your Octopus card at the turnstile. So, yeah, quite easy. We're about to go on. It is the oldest mode of transportation in Hong Kong. And we're going to go over to Central for some dim sum. deposit which is 50 Hong Kong dollars plus any remaining balance so make sure you do that before you leave. Our last dessert, Mammy Pancake for their egg puffs or egg eggettes. Mm. The inside is so soft. But the outside is so crispy. Mm. Well, today we're flying back home from Hong Kong. Thank you so much for watching this travel guide. If you guys found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I know it was sort of a whirlwind trip and a lot of the times I didn't film because we were honestly just window shopping and going to different plazas. But if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to recommend for me for future trips, please comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!